Hey everyone, I'm Krista Seiden, and I'm here today with Stefano, who is a product manager on Google Analytics, and he's going to walk us through a deep dive of user analysis techniques in analysis in Google Analytics for properties. Specifically, we're going to look at the user lifetime and the segment overlap techniques, which are going to be really great information. So Stefano, thank you so much for being here with us, and over to you. Thank you, Krista. And for this one, let's jump straight into the demo. Here we are on the Analysis Hub. Uh, to get into the user lifetime technique, as all other techniques, you just click on the user lifetime one, and that opens up uh, a user lifetime analysis. These techniques allow you to deep dive uh, on your users. So instead of looking at uh, user behavior like other techniques you've seen uh, in other videos, where you see what kind of events and journey you do on your app or site, this technique is specifically meant to give you information about your user and not just about the date range you have selected. So as all techniques, you have a date range selected here, but this only tells you the users, filters the user that are active in this date range. But information that we present in this technique is for the entire lifetime of the user. So if you have a user in your property that has been uh, uh, active on the property for the last year, all this lifetime information are about that user from the first time they visited your property all the way to today. And here we will have a few different types of information. So from a dimension perspective, you will see some uh, first scene and last scene dimension, including some acquisition dimension. These are all characteristic of the user, which uh, in this case, which are the campaigns and medium that acquired that user. Uh, on the first scene and last scene, what was the first time the user uh, visited the, the property? What was the last time the user did purchase on the property? And you can select uh, those information and add them uh, to your uh, variable panel to be able to use in this uh, visualization. From a metric perspective, we have a couple of different types of metrics. Other than the typical uh, uh, user count, we have lifetime metric where each metric is about the entire lifetime of the user. And we don't have only the total, the typical sum you see in GA, but we have different version of that metric. We have, of course, the total, but we have the average and we also have percentile. How are percentile helpful? Let me show you through, through an example. So let's pick uh, the LTV, the lifetime uh, value. Let's look at uh, the 10 percentile, the 50 and the 90 percentile. So if I add those, uh, uh, in my in my visualization here, let's uh, leave the user medium. So I'll break down those value for user medium. I already have average here. Let's me delete these other two information and let's add the, the 10 percentile, the 50 percentile and the 90 percentile to the visualization. This gives me a sense of the distribution of that metric for each group of users. So here, let's look at the first row. The first row is organic user. This user, uh, this is how many they are. This is their average uh, LTV, but uh, you can also answer with this technique, how is this average distributed for this group of user? In this case, you see zero, zero, zero. That means uh, if you have uh, even the 90 percentile that is zero dollar, it means that most of these user, like 90 percentile, 90 percent of them, uh, have zero dollar in uh, lifetime value uh, um, with your property. And this average is, is given only by a handful of users that are in the top 10 percentile. Uh, another example is this row here, where you see that this many user have this amount of average uh, lifetime value uh, and the 90 percentile is $44. So you know that the top 10 percent of user all have a lifetime uh, value that is greater than $44. And this structure is available for all the other lifetime metric. We have lifetime value, uh, lifetime engagement duration, lifetime transaction, and a few others. Another very interesting uh, uh, type of metric that uh, we have available here is predictive metric. If your property is uh, uh, enabled for prediction, we show you the probability of churning uh, and purchase set with the same structure of uh, average and percentile for each group of users that you have selected. Another interesting uh, thing that you can uh, um, use the user lifetime technique for is using uh, uh, the dimension that I showed you earlier. Uh, you can have uh, last purchase date and first purchase date and see how many users uh, had uh, uh, 
in this case uh, of the user that purchased the last time uh, uh, on uh, November 16, what was the first date they purchased? And this can help you understand, uh, for instance, pattern of uh, uh, repeat purchase behavior or, uh, or user in the same way we have last active date users that haven't been active uh, more recently in, in your property. And with that seat on the user lifetime technique. This is great, Stefano. I know that user lifetime value is such an important topic for so many Google Analytics users. And so being able to look at this in their Google Analytics 4 property is going to be super valuable. Thank you, Krista. And uh, the last technique that we want to cover on this video is the segment overlap. As always, you open up a new tab and look at the segment overlap technique. These techniques allows you to take different uh, segment of user and see how common they are. What's the overlap of user between those two segments? Uh, let's look at an example. So, of course, you have to create a segment to, to do this. Uh, we have a few segments pre-created here, but let's go ahead and, uh, and look at how I will create a new segment. It'll be, uh, let's do a user segment, and let's look, for instance, at purchases. So, uh, I've purchased, so this is a segment, uh, I'll give a name. This is the segment of my purchases, so all the users that have done a purchase event. And let's create another segment uh, uh, for this example uh, of uh, user that have uh, viewed the promotion. Uh, we have an event here that is view promotion. Uh, and this will be the promotion user segment. Let's save that segment as well. Those two segments have been applied here. And now we can see the overlap between the purchaser the small circle, and the promotion, the user that I've seen a promotion, the bigger circle. You can see all the different uh, uh, potential combination of the data down here. As an example, uh, here is the group that we might be interested in. These are the purchases that I've also seen the promotion. One, uh, one thing that uh, you can quickly see from, uh, from this segment overlap, that is in this case, most purchaser are actually uh, have seen a promotion. There are very few the uh, user in this property that have made a purchase and have not seen a promotion. On this visualization, you can also add uh, additional information. So uh, I'm only looking at the active user, but I could uh, come here and add new type of metrics, uh, uh, search for revenue, add the revenue metric, uh, and add the revenue metric here. And it will show me next to the amount of user for each segment, uh, it show me the revenue and like that for all the other metric. And of course, the usual right click and you can create, uh, actually, this will be a more interesting segment. You can create uh, a segment uh, that is the combination of those two segments. And uh, with that, that's it for the segment overlap. I love this technique, Stefano. There's so much value that can be found in looking at the different overlaps and even being able to create audiences of those overlaps for remarketing purposes. This is such a cool technique. I hope users can really go ahead and take advantage of this. Thank you so much, Stefano, for walking us through user lifetime value and segment overlap techniques in Google Analytics for properties. There's so much value here and I hope you guys can start taking advantage of it today.